Okay, praise God. Jesus bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I have tried to give you guys a couple months ahead of time to remind you, although we've been talking about it all year, but I remind you that it's about time to celebrate um, the fall feast. And during the fall feast, again, during tabernacles is a time when you give the best of the best that you have of the year to God, to his kingdom. And that's required uh, by God. He requires an offering in accordance to the blessings that he has given you, which the big one be Jesus himself. And uh, so the best of the best. And there's three times a year he does that. Feast of Weeks, Unleavened Bread, and Tabernacles. Deuteronomy 16, 16 through 17. So get prepared for that. It's the best of the best. And it's a uh, free will offering. But it's the best that you have. You don't want your junk. Okay. Um, you can read Leviticus 23, 4, 23, 7, 23, 41, 23, 44. The Hebrew word for feast is shag. That means to circle, to circle, dance, or feast, to celebrate. Okay, shagun, which is plural, are to be celebrated before the Lord in joyous atmospheres with singing and dancing and reading of scripture and, you know, having a good time. It's a feast. Um, I want you to pause and read Colossians 2, 16 through 17. When the Bible says, these feasts are shadows of things to come. The substance is Jesus Christ. Okay, now we have the fall feast coming up. Feast of trumpets, these are all in October. Feast of Trumpets, which is Rosh Hashanah. That's the head of the year. Um, the trumpet blasts are reminders for us to repent. Repent means change, right? Um, we dip apples in honey to remind us that we have a good and sweet new year. Um, the next one is Day of Atonement, which is Yom Kippur. That's the holiest day of the year. Um, it's a day of fasting and repenting, being thankful for Jesus Christ, ma'am. And then Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. Um, it's, it reminds you that life is a temporary dwelling place. Okay, because that's what it is. Life is a temporary dwelling place. Okay, so that's the feast we have coming up in October. Feast of Trumpets, Day of Atonement, and Sukkot. And we will be talking more about those throughout September. Okay, but you want to go ahead and start preparing for your free will offering because it's got it's the best of the best of the year three times a year feast of weeks unleavened bread and tabernacles which is sukkot time to give that okay and uh, go ahead and prepare yourself get yourself ready for all that and we will be studying these so you understand what's going on with them throughout the throughout september okay so you have to pay attention uh to the videos that we put out and come to the barn you have to come to the barn you need to be there so that you are actually celebrating with God. Remember, there are shadows of things to come for eternity, you know. All right. So there you go. God bless you guys. We will be talking about this in upcoming weeks and uh, getting ready to celebrate the fall feast. In Jesus' name, God bless every single one of you.